Since ancient times, means of transportation have been of critical importance for the progress of humans. Initially, our predecessors used animals like donkeys, horses, and other animals for their conveyance. The invention of the wheel led them to make chariots and subsequently bicycles. People kept on striving to develop more methods to enhance mobility both in peace and war, including laying rail tracks. Some of these means were quite funny, like oversized bicycles. The invention of the motor car in 1886 proved to be a real watershed event in human history. Some people worked on unique and unprecedented ideas to improve transportation, like flying cars and double-wide limousines, etc. Today we'll have a look at some of the craziest cars ever manufactured. Before we begin, though, take a moment to pause this video and give it a thumbs up. Done? Okay, let's begin then. Cramp Car In the 1950s, BMW heard the phrase personal transportation for the first time and was impressed by the minicar Isetta manufacturer by ISO, which primarily designed scooters and refrigerators. It was the most minuscule car, having dimensions of just 7.4 feet by 4.5 feet. BMW purchased the design and license. At that time, German laws permitted people to drive minicars with only a motorcycle driving license. Isetta has no trunk and is equipped with just one door and the steering wheel is attached with the door. Despite having a fuel tank capacity of just 5 gallons, it was very economical, reaching a fuel consumption rate of 78 miles per gallon or 33 kilometers per litre. It was very powerful with a top speed of 53 miles per hour or 85 kilometers per hour and had an engine of 12 horsepower. At the time of release, Isetta was the best-selling single-engine car in the world, with a price of $1,048 or present-day $10,366. Swiss company Micromobility plans to launch a similar mini-electric car, Microlino, having just two seats. Mood Tube Toyota believes that its little pod, which changes color in line with the mood of its driver, is the future. It's FV2, the future vision of Toyota, which seems to be a future variant or a fun vehicle. It's driven by a single passenger by just his body weight. It resembles a Segway. Its astonishing feature is changing colors depending on the mood of its driver, and it can be driven while standing up. The Superpod car was first presented in 2013, but it's not likely to be produced on a commercial scale in the near future. If offered for sale, its price is expected to be around $45,000. Need for Speed In 1998, the British car manufacturer TVR wanted to win a car race called Le Mans, held near the French town of Le Mans. For this purpose, they manufactured Cerebra Speed 12, which had a 7.7-litre V12 engine made by Frankensteining, that is, by combining two previous service engines. The car weighed just 2,200 pounds and 998 kilograms, which was less than the requirement of NASCAR of minimum car weight of 3,300 pounds. The car could reach up to a speed of 60 miles per hour or 97 kilometers an hour in less than three seconds. Due to changes in the rules, Speed 12 was not permitted to participate in the Le Mans race, therefore TVR decided to make it commercially available. After modifications, Speed 12 had a brake horsepower between 800 and 960. Under a controlled environment, its speed could exceed that of the McLaren F1, the fastest car in the world at that time, having a top speed of 231 miles or 372 kilometers per hour. It was not presented for commercial sale, as during the personal trial, Peter Wheeler, the head of TVR, claimed it was too dangerous to be driven by the general public. Water Wheels In 1961, Quant Group manufactured an Amphicar. It had an unassuming front and two propellers along with the usual exhaust pipe. It cost $28,660 in today's money and had a unique problem of getting insurance as a car as well as a boat. It required servicing after floating every time. It was quite slow on the road with a top speed of just 70 miles per hour and seven knots in the water. Sometimes it was called the fastest boat on land and fastest car in the water. The Amphicar was discontinued in 1967. However, a lot of progress has been made in water wheeling. Dobberton's surface orbiter, which resembles a rocket, was built by Rick Dobberton. It took four years, lifetime savings, and a milk tanker to build it. It was equipped with a 250-horsepower engine, an ocean navigation system, and separate steering wheels for land and sea. Rick and his wife Karen planned to go on a romantic journey around the world. In 1993, when they started their journey, Karen developed seasickness, and they remained engaged in a constant argument. They divorced on their return home. AVTR2 The Future 
AVTR, an immense concept car built by Mercedes-Benz, can be considered inspired from the movie Avatar. Its iconic feature is slick, glowing wheels which can be used to indicate even from the side and are meant just for show. AVTR can move sideways like a crab. It has another distinct feature. Its skin has little panels on the back of the car that tilt and turn in response to the environment and seems like little hair follicles used for altering the car's aerodynamics and to enhance its braking power. Most astonishingly, it is without a steering wheel and is controlled by a car mouse. It can reach a top speed of 223 miles or 359 kilometers per hour. It's equipped with a 469 horsepower engine. No one knows when it will be released, but speculate to cost around $39,000. The Suit Car People started using wheels under suitcases in 1961, and just 30 years later, Mazda decided to convert a suitcase into a car by attaching a motor and steering wheel to a rolling bag. This suitcase car won Mazda's 1991 fantasy art competition. The competition was organized for employees to create the most unique and innovative means of transportation. The car was built from a Samsonite suitcase that could be folded and opened into a minuscule driving car. It could reach a speed of 80 miles per hour and could be driven for two hours if the fuel tank was full. Only a few prototypes were produced and the project was considered unprofitable. Currently, just one suitcase car is in functional condition. Peeved off in 2007, Nissan introduced a beautiful fully electric car just like an egg and named it Pivo 2. It was an updated version of their original 2005 Pivo concept and depicted a bold and unique conceptualization of the future. It preferred convenience over flashiness. Each tire was in a little pod detached from the main body and had a dedicated motor that allowed it to rotate and move the car in any direction. Its body could swivel around 360 degrees, providing entry and exit from any point. Its most stunning feature was the talking robot head, which would operate as a satellite navigator and was able to detect the driver's mood. In 2011, Nissan presented Pivo 3, which was far behind Pivo 2 and was without a robot head. Put it in H. Forsheim University partnered with German car manufacturer Opel and its students to create an offbeat vision of the future called the Opel H. It's designed for long-distance autonomous travel and lays immense emphasis on comfort. The car being autonomous doesn't require a driving wheel, which affords more space for the legs. Its seats also face backwards and you can enjoy similar space. Space between the rear and front seats is utilized for luggage storage. The rear and front of the car are completely transparent. So far, Opel H is just a concept. Half Pint 20 Cup Peugeot 20 Cup is an astonishing vehicle. Technically, it is a reverse trike, having a tadpole setup. In other words, its front half is a standard car, whereas the back half has only one wheel behind the driver's seat. It seems to be a car bike and was manufactured to test and show the new Motor 2005 Mini Cooper. Its engine was a result of a collaborative effort between BMW and PSA. This four-cylinder engine produces up to 170 brake horsepower. Its highest speed was never recorded, but the 2005 Cooper has a top speed of 143 miles per hour or 230 kilometers per hour. The 20 Cup can go from 0 to 60 in just 5 seconds, which is quite fast, much faster than the Cooper at 6.6 .6 seconds. The Octo Auto In 1911, Emo Reeves designed a new car thinking that more wheels can be attached to make it more comfortable. It was named the Octo Auto. Probably this idea makes sense as the roads in the 1910s were much bumpier, whereas tires were not as strong as they are nowadays. Perhaps Reeves was inspired by train cars and thought that the addition of more wheels would result in an even distribution of weight in a large automobile and less wear and tear on each tire. This design performed well while moving over bumps and potholes, however it became too expensive with a price tag of $3,200 or today's $93,000. Radical Air Stephen Klein spent almost 20 years making an incredible flying car. In 2017, his dream turned into reality. He worked ambitiously with scientists and engineers all around the world for realizing this sci-fi vision. Based on intense simulations, the Brno University of Technology, the Slovak company SK Model, created special composite materials required for the project. Intense test drives were carried out in Shanghai, China. In 2021, Klein's air car successfully completed an inner-city flight. The flying car is provided with foldable and retractable wings so it can smoothly transition from driving mode to flying mode. 
Its aerodynamic fuselage has sufficient space for one driver and one passenger. Both are provided with parachutes to meet any emergency. Design and other information of the car are protected by different patents, therefore details about speed, fuel consumption and price are not known. Hot Wheels In 1958, an incredible car named the Golden Sahara was manufactured. Its name was attributed to its wheels, which glow a bright fiery orange. It was created by Jim Streets Gonzakis, and as per him, the glowing tires were to make it extra visible in the darkness. Tires were developed by Goodyear of blimp fame and made of neothane, a synthetic translucent rubber, and it was filled with internal lighting. Sahara was much ahead of its time as a sensor below it would hit the brakes if it sent something moving in front of it. It could also be partially controlled with a small remote control. It's thought to use a copper Lincoln V8 engine that produced 225 horsepower. At the time of production, Sahara was priced at $75,000 or $635,000 as per the current value of money. In 2018, the only Sahara in existence was purchased for $350,000 and restored to its previous glory in 2019. The Limo Master the magical mechanic Jay Orber created movie vehicles like the Flintstones car kit from Knight Rider, the 1989 Batmobile, and Back to the Future's classic DeLorean. He utilizes his free time for making the craziest limousine cars. This wide limousine is powered by two Cadillac FWD engines. Its broad body is 30 feet long and about 2.5 times the width of a regular limousine. It has a girth of about 15 feet and is sufficient to hold a king-sized bed. His most important creation is thought to be the American Dream, which cost $4 million. As per the Guinness Book of World Records, it is the longest car in the world. It's 100 feet long and supported by 26 wheels, a king-sized waterbed, a helipad, and a swimming pool. It can travel at a very slow speed. It has a hinge in the middle that helps it navigate tight turns. However, it requires two drivers in separate compartments for this purpose. However, performing a properly tight turn with something that long is practically impossible, and even if it could be done, it'd look just as ridiculous as this Photoshop image. Make it Wombo Volkswagen's little compact Beetle charmed people all over the world for decades. Richard Tupper and his son liked the Beetle and decided to make it bigger and built the huge bug from a 1959 Volkswagen Beetle. It's 40% larger than the actual car. Tupper and his son scanned every single part of the original Beetle, increased its size by 40% in 3D editing software, and then built additional parts. They succeeded to prepare the huge bug in three years for $15,000. Its current worth is about $1.25 million. The largest behemoth was converted by Sheikh Hamad bin Hamadan al Nayan, also called Rainbow Sheikh. He converted the 1950s Dodge Power Wagon by enhancing its size 64 times that of the original truck. It's 20 feet tall and weighs around 55 tons. It has a 300 horsepower engine and can actually be driven. The Buttmobile The most baffling and ugliest car is the Roach Coach. It was built in 1978 as a show car and was never meant to be driven. It was designed by Ed Newton and manufactured by Dan Woods. It was built just to impress the crowds and get attention for their company, Roach Incorporation. It has two large cockpit bulbs that look like a pair of eyes. We sure would not want this car. Do tell us in the comments below which one of these crazy cars you would want to drive. Would any of these become a common sight on the roads in the near future? We'll be back soon with another amazing video for you guys. Until then, have a great time and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.